the Department of Education's program to recover. Again, you have shown us that hard work pays and would like to call on all stakeholders to join us in our efforts to nurture our youth and help produce an educated population adequately equipped for the fourth industrial revolution. Honorable guest, our gratitude goes out to teachers, learners, parents, organized labor for playing their important roles respectively. Teachers being at school to teach and learners being in class on to learn. The meticulous of KwaZulu-Natal made us proud with their performance under trying circumstances where the virus was claiming lives of many of our family members. However, amid all the doom and gloom, you all persisted, and in the end, you have achieved your goals. Ladies and gentlemen, the ANC-led government is serious about education, hence it remains an apex priority. Education is the only hope we have for the complete liberation of our people. The steady increase of the metric pass rate over the years, both at provincial and national levels, continues to give us hope for the future. For this reason, we must continue to improve access to education and ensure no child is left behind, particularly those who were previously marginalized. We are also encouraged that during the uncertain period of the pandemic, government has intensified its efforts to provide social protection for vulnerable individuals in our communities. We have no doubt that it is because of such interventions that the country has been able to create an enabling environment for young people to drive for, to com and complete the curriculum last year. Honorable Premier, as the country celebrates 27 years of democracy, we must reimagine post-COVID-19 South Africa and collectively work together to build a better life for all. While this pandemic has brought unimaginable challenges, we must come out 
of this in a better position to create opportunities for a more equal and just society in which all citizens are able to participate meaningfully in the economy of our country. Program Director, Etegun Party recognizes the importance of investing in youth and ensuring that there is access to education. For the class 2020, we have already allocated funding for financial needy students through our Student Relief Fund. This intervention assists students who have performed well with the registration fees and academic fees. We have also identified areas where there are scarce skills in the country and have stepped in by providing a bursary scheme to fund students in the field of engineering, architecture, quantity surveying, and applied chemistry. Finally, we want to assure you, Honorable Premier, and all our guests, that Etegwin Municipality will continue to partner with the provincial government and relevant stakeholders in the education sector to build a strong and educated nation. I thank you. Program HOD Dr. Nzama, uh, the Premier of the Province, Wazulu Natal, Honorable Zigalala, and the First Lady of our province, the Speaker of the Legislature, Honorable Boyce, members of the Executive Council were present here. Inkosi Yasema Tungeni, Kosi Yasizu, Sbingelele, Mtuana Wasen Lungulu, Makeba. The chairperson of the Portfolio Committee on Education, Sotobe. The leader of the 
official opposition in the legislature, Baba Ushabisa. Your Worship, the Mayor of Eteguini, Babu Kawunda. The leadership of the labor unions. I've seen colleagues from Satu, Natu, and Naptosa who are present here. Leadership of the SGPs. Uh, I've seen Maka, but I'm not sure whether there are other colleagues who are present here. Ladies and gentlemen, members of the media, and everyone who has graced our occasion today. After a tumultuous academic year that threatened to compromise the future of our learners due to COVID-19, we once again rise to present the 2020 results for the National Senior Certificate. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we remember the wise words of President Mandela when he said, and I quote, a new world will be one, but will be one not by those who stand at a distance with their arms folded, but by those who are in the arena, whose garments are torn by storms, and whose bodies are maimed in the cause of the contest, unquote. The 2020 was the year where all nations of the world had to make difficult choices in the quest to save lives against deadly coronavirus. We too in the education sector had to disrupt the academic year for months in order to save lives of our educators and the learners. Faced with the possibility of a bleak future, our teachers and learners refused to stand on the sidelines in the creation of a new world that we envisage beyond COVID-19. They entered the arena contaminated by COVID-19. They had their garments torn by the storms of COVID-19 and had their bodies maimed in the cause of contest to save the future of our country. Today, we stand to bear testimony that these heroes and heroines entered the battle with the soul, with, I mean, with the sole intent of winning, and indeed they won. We proudly say the class of 2020 is indeed the class of steel. It will go down the annals of history as the most resilient class since the dawn of freedom. The tests, trials, and tribulations that we all have to go through bears testimony to the fact that from here, you will go very far and remain ready to deal with any challenges that you might encounter along the way. And in any battle, ladies and gentlemen, there are always casualties. Whilst we declare victory, we also acknowledge that the sector suffered some casualties. We present these results today with heavy hearts, having lost 253 teachers and 38 non-teaching staff including our employees in offices due to COVID-19 related illnesses. As we pay homage to these frontline workers in our system, we are paid by the knowledge of the devastation and hurt that has been inflicted in their families. The bravery of all our fallen heroes and heroines, along with all the hardworking employees who continued to pay service to the nation will forever be etched in our hearts. History will remember all of them as fearless fighters who gave it all in the fight against the invisible enemy. And we say, may their, all souls, may their souls rest in peace. And we shall forever strive to ensure that we honor their legacy. Ladies and gentlemen, it is also important to note that 2020 was also the first year without what we normally call the modularization. And this meant that this, this, this system of modularization meant that some learners, particularly the progressed learners, had an opportunity to elect to write certain subjects and complete the rest in the following year. And this time around, everyone who 
was admitted for metric wrote all subject at once. We give this account to the people of KwaZulu Natal on the mandate they gave us to ensure quality education for all. Just two days before the Honorable Premier of the province take his podium to account on government, on how government responds to the needs of the people through the State of the Province Address. It is during the State of the Province Address account on that we as the Department of Education responds to the needs will of the also people receive our matching orders for the year 2021. We take pride in the fact that we are a government that does not only make promises. We take very seriously the importance of making good on our commitments. It is for this reason that we are today very delighted that once again get this opportunity to account on how best we have performed after the people of the province of KwaZulu Natal gave us a mammoth task of creating a better future for all our young people through the provision of the quality education for all. Ladies and gentlemen, at this juncture, I would like to briefly report to you that throughout the examinations period, we found ourselves having to work very hard so that we ensure the results that will reflect our hard work from the beginning of the year. The highest number of learners we have in the system forced us to send throughout the province of KwaZulu Natal 2.6 million question papers, which was not an easy task. This required dedication, organization, and proper planning without which it would not have been possible. Our 1,700 invigilators did a stealing job in ensuring that all the 135,276 full-time and 12,460 part-time learners sit for their examinations under very tight but professional supervision in all 1,768 examination centers across the province. We'll also like to shower our colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, to the 8,130 markers who dedicated their lives or rather their time under COVID-19 conditions in the quest to ensure that we are able to finally have a class of 2020. Honorable Premier, KwaZulu Natal is the biggest system of education in the entire country. And therefore, the importance of, or rather, and therefore, its performance also largely determines the national performance. In the year 2020, there were 135,276 candidates who searched for the National Senior Certificate, which was an increase from 116,937 who set for 2019 examination. It is pleasing to note that whilst we agree that the provision of basic education in our province is highly complex, given the size of the, of the system and the fact that 70% of our schools are in rural areas, we take pride in the fact that uh, we have performed so well as a province of KwaZulu Natal. From the total number of candidates who set for examinations, 104,985 passed their examinations. <laughs> this is compared to the 95,017 who passed last year. So there was an increase of more than 9,000 learners that we passed uh, in 2020. And was Natal accounts for the highest province that produced many learners who have passed grade 12 in 2020. <clears throat> so we may be number four in terms, of, in terms of percentage, but in terms of real numbers of learners who passed uh, the, the 2020 metric, was Natal ranks the highest, and we take pride in that. We are also pleased 
to have achieved 51,060 bachelor passes, increasing from 44,189 bachelor passes in, in 2019. So there's been also a serious increase of bachelor passes. In terms of diplomas, in 2019, we had scored 35,195 and in 2020, it was 44,189, yet another increase. The higher certificates increased from 18,086 in 2019 to 18,658 in 2020. So this is a demonstration, Mr. Premier, that indeed the largest system in the country is also maturing in terms of quality. We are on a steady, yet constant uh, increase in terms of the quality of the bachelor passes, of the passes that we produce as a province. It is also worth mentioning that the province seems to be on an upward trajectory when it comes to passing mathematics, having moved up to 51% from 47% in the previous year. So there is indeed an increase in mathematics and other gateway subjects. This is a good sign for a province like ours, which has a desire to produce many learners with good results in mathematics. Obviously, Premier, because we are, we are honest people, we acknowledge that uh, we still have to do more in physical science, in accounting, and in other newly introduced technical subjects where we have not performed well. And uh, it's one thing that uh, will be seized in, uh, with uh, henceforth. We also take pride, or not with pride, that in terms of positioning of all our provinces, of all the provinces, we have improved from number five to number four. So, it was in Cape from this year, I'm managing with 2%, uh, which is number three. Manager Sifu Melene, I told you, 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 I told we need to increase to number three at least. Ladies and gentlemen, in terms of the overall percentage per district, it's as follows. Number one, we have got Uku district at 81.7%. At number two is Umlazi district at 80.9%. At number three is Umukanya at 80.6%. Umukanya Gude, Lee Makaya. Lee Makaya. At number four is Amatuba District at 80.5%. Followed by Umukumuldo District at 80.3%. Followed by Ilembe at 76.9%. Followed by Zululand District at 76.7%. Followed by Pine Town District at 75.8%. Herikwala District at 75.0%. In Kwetuayo District, 74.8%. Uchugala District, 73.5%. Umzinyati District, at 72.6%. Now, Premier, we have not moved from your instruction that all the districts should actually perform above 80%. And we believe that uh, it's a task that uh, we need to fulfill this year. Yes, there are still challenges that we're facing, but we need to work hard as a system so that all districts perform at above 80%.
Now, as we did again last year, we want to congratulate Uku District under the leadership of uh, Ubaba Usbiya for topping the list in terms of district performance. We say thank you so much, Sotobe, for the hard work. Together with your team, we believe that uh, other districts will also be motivated to make sure that they catch up with Uku, but also no district is allowed to perform at uh, at below 80 um, percent. Our special schools continue to make us proud through their performance. Want to specifically mention the following schools. Watindwa, A.M. Muna, Faltin, and St. Martins, who all scored 100% pass rate in 2022. We want to renew our commitment of giving all that is due to our learners with special education needs. To us, they are not a charity case. They enjoy equal treatment with all our learners. As we conclude, once again, thank all the learners for the resilience and commitments for, and their commitment to see through the year 2020 against all odds. To our educators, you remained true to the instruction by Professor W. E. Du Bois, who instructed that, and I quote, the Negro, and I say the African race, like all races, is going to be saved by exceptional men and women. The problem of education amongst Africans is the problem of developing the best of this race, that they may guide the mice away from, from the contamination and the West and the death of the West in their own and other races, unquote. Without the dedication shown by the teachers, the African child in particular would have headed straight to the contamination and the death of the West. I say this because owing to the realities of inequality in our society and the education sector, the African child, particularly in the public ordinary schools, were most were almost completely cut off from, from the schooling, whilst other learners in privileged schools and from privileged families continued with online lessons. Our educators had to come through to guide this race away from the contamination and the death of the West. To the labor unions and the school government board associations, we have made the work of all of us quite easy and enjoyable. Even when we differ at times, but we don't depart from the common purpose of building a stable and thriving sector. We Susan, Mr. Premier, what is in the best interest of the sector is what must guide all of us. The stability we enjoy in the province is the foundation of our continued good performance. The victory belongs to all of us. Mr. Premier, you deserve a special mention in your cabinet for excellent leadership, which has led us to working beyond the call of duty, even in instances where conditions were not in our favor. We are indebted to you, Mr. Premier, and we wish, to continue, we wish that you continue leading us uh, from the front. Members of the legislature under the leadership of honorable uh, voice. Kushengati, who has just uh, celebrated her birthday, have always equally rose to the occasion and ensured that they discharge all their energies in holding us accountable. There is nothing we like more than being given an opportunity to account because that keeps us in check. We like to be given a platform to tell our story. Even when we meet challenges, it is better to be given a platform to explain those challenges. And that's what we enjoy with our, about our legislature. Chairperson of the Portfolio Committee, Honorable Sotove, and the members of the committee, thank you so much for the support you have given to us, the support, the guidance, and the unparalleled passion that you show 
in the education sector. That has made it possible for us to even improve where we could not have seen that there are areas that we need to close in terms of gap. Your monitoring uh, is very, very tight. I mean, the oversight is very tight and it helps us really even to pick up things that would not have ordinarily picked up in the course of our work. So we really thank you uh, for the work that we have done. Uh, to the employees of the department under the leadership of H.O. Tienzama, Xasa Subwele Musebin Zimbabwe, Xasa Njez Yasuga. But I want to thank you for again the hard work that you show. Uh, sometimes Prima they complain that we meet early in the morning or even late in the afternoon or in the evening. Who possible the education to finish the meeting at half past level? So we thank you uh, for the commitment that we have shown. The leadership of the African National Congress, I've seen Ukomre to Umpemba, Nopala Weyinsi. Thank you so much for the guidance, for the support, and for the love you have instilled on us to love our learners, to love the people of Kwasun Natal, to work hard for their upliftment. Without your directions, your directions and directives, probably things would be very difficult. So see above our cool. I will also will not have done justice if I don't thank my family. For the continuing to be unbearable, I mean unbreakable support system. Not unbearable. Unbreakable support system. And I say from the deepest of my heart, your contribution will not go unnoticed. At times, uh, Mr. Premier, I'm sure we will all it becomes so difficult. Uh, you come late at home, you live early, you don't have time for, for your kids. But what's this car to told to wear and delay delay? But really, we have been a pillar of my strength, and for that, I thank you. And once again, I will say congratulations to the class of 2020. May you all prosper in all your future endeavors and continue to fly our flag very high. In you, we know that we have trusted ambassadors who will always show the world what kind of people we are in the province of Kwazulu Natal. And we sincerely thank you so much. Uh, the, the program director has directed me that uh, I request all of us to rise and welcome the premier of our province uh, to take the podium. Uh, Honorable Zigan. be seated. Uh, may I take this opportunity to extend appreciation and acknowledge the presence of all of you who are here today, especially those who are in the education sector. My acknowledgement also, Program Director, goes to you, Dr. Nzama, MEC Mshengu, MEC for Education, the Leader of Government Business, Honorable Nomsa Tubengube, and all MECs who are with us. In Lungulu, Mtu anawase nilungulu. Nko usie sizwe. Usitalo 
wendlu yamakhosi kwazulu natal kosuqhiliza madongeni the speaker of our legislature honorable nontembeko boys as well as the chairperson of the portfolio committee of education honorable sbia the leader of the official opposition in the legislature honorable shabisa the unions that are here we know that satu is always part of us natu is always part of us the school governing bodies government officials who are here today well mc mshengu acknowledge mrs mshengu but i want to acknowledge also the presence of mrs zigalana but who is not unbearable <laughs> this unbearable part i don't know how it exists mrs mshengu Colleagues, mtu ana wasenzunkulu, mtu ana utulan makeba. We all know that had it not been because of the situation, His Majesty Upecha Nepumis Queen, Silo Samabanda, would have been with us here today. Nemkanga soyonke aye ailite. Not was in front of, and therefore, siyabongo kona bako makeba, but also siyaz utinrungkulionke no bayete unati njango bunati. Tinabeslisa magesugu me si bingelele si floni pe inrungkulu ngokfane. Where na wenzo? Wena wendo bayete siyabona bayete hlanga lomhlabathi compatriots and friends today we gather to mark an important day as we celebrate the release of the metric result for the class of 2020 as the government and the entire population of KwaZulu Natal we join the rest of the country in a collective note to pay tribute to our children who last year wrote the metric exams we are here to say to all the learners you have finally reached the pinnacle of your basic education and now sit to access the hard work we have put in it so we stand together today marveling at the journey you have traveled the mountain you have climbed the rivers that you have had to cross the valleys we have scaled for the past 12 years as we made it to metric and to all we say congratulations We know that the national senior certificate performance is one of the most critical indicators of the system's improvement. The province of KwaZulu Natal provided the largest number of candidates and the largest number of successful candidates in the year 2020 national senior certificate. of the 135276 candidates who set for the national senior certificate 104985 achieved representing 77.6% of those who wrote the exams 
compatriots, if you will have a class of metric, a class of metric alone, that is 135,000, it tells you. When we open this academy on the 15th of January, no, on the 15th of February, rather, I said in KwaZulu Natal, we've reached almost universal access to education. And this is what attests to that. The number of learners who wrote for the exam of the metric 2020. But on top of that, Ms. Shengu, we should be proud to report to the people of KwaZulu Natal that the class of 2020 marked a 15,000 increment of learners from just above uh, 120,000. So in one year, you increased by more than 15,000. And that tells you about universal access to education. There is no doubt that the metric class of 2020 is a historic cohort of learners. It was a class made of a steel resolve, a class that proved it metal as it defied the deadly odds. These are the pioneers who were the first to face the COVID-19 pandemic in grade 12 and to sit for the National Senior Certificate. It was in 2020 that teaching and learning also showed the divide in the education because of the online disadvantages and advantages in the system. At one level, education is fairly good measure of how a country is killing its youth and its workforce in readiness for the real world. Indeed, the content of the education, of the country's education, and particular its orientation, determines the extent to which it can successfully complete, it can successfully compete with its counterparts in the rest of the world. Each time we educate a child, we educate educate a nation. Each time we educate a child, we educate a family and a community. So at another level, in South Africa, education is therefore even more central because it places in the hand of all learners an access of equal value as they enter the real world for further education and work. In this manner, the function of education is that of social cohesion, bringing together people regardless of race, class, religion, gender, and other places of origin. As Nelson Mandela, the founding president of our democratic South Africa, famously remarked, education is the greatest weapon we can use to achieve equality and to change the lives of the people. The metric class of 2020 entered last year with enthusiasm and anxious of all their pre uh, pre uh, predecessors, breathing a sign of relief that they finally reached the end of their schooling. What we all didn't know and didn't bargain for was that 2020 was not going to be the same ever in the history of humanity. The advent of COVID-19 redefined life like no other pandemic or war has ever been able to do before. COVID-19 officially announced its arrival in South Africa 
in March 2020, when our province recorded the first case of the deadly pandemic in the country. By stroke of scientific discovery, we had landed among the nations of the world, including Europe and Asia, which were already deep into the pandemic. The COVID-19 pandemic naturally brought pandemonium and a tie of fear and, and, and a tie of fear and anxiety as we entered into a world that until now was unknown. The national lockdown meant that schools were also closed in order to allow the country, the continent, and the world to think through solutions against coronavirus. Education naturally changes life, but life under COVID-19 changed education drastically. The, introdu the introduction of online education and remote learning has now became the, no the new normal, but has admittedly been a disruptive factor and force for what we used to know. We want to congratulate the Department of Education for steering the ship of our education through this challenging period and getting these results. The result, the result this year nationally reflect a qualitative dip compared to last year. A similar trend was observed in Guazulu Natal, but we wish to state that these results are truly to be commended, given the strange and unusual circumstances we faced as a result of COVID. And therefore, we wish to express our hearty congratulations to the class of 2020 for refusing to be defined by conditions they found themselves in and for keeping the eye on the prize. I remember now former President Mbegi saying, to complete the journey, you need not to lament in between, but you need to focus on the prize. Those who finish the journey are not those who ask on the way how adversities will be and are not those who will say how steep is the journey, but are those who will say there is a prize and irrespective of what, I will attain the prize and we commend you for that. <clears throat> Differences and contradictions are the nature of life. Even as a person alone, when you are born, you begin a journey, and a journey of negation of negation. And in that journey, contradictions will always prevail. Today, collectively, with learners, workers, educators, the principals, all managers, including the HOT, we celebrate with you irrespective of differences we had before, but today we are all together and sharing a collective celebration. And we thank all of you for the work. It is clear that without creating the impression that the Department of Education has addressed and overcome a number of challenges in school, it must be acknowledged that a great progress has been made toward providing quality education and conducive teaching and learning environment for teachers and learners. Out of the 144,307 candidates who enrolled, we acknowledge those who have passed and those who excelled earning distinctions and the best available symbols. Your hard work has paid off and the future awaits for you behind, beyond the classroom of 2020.
We, however, also wish to send a special message to all those who may have not earned their uh, uh, diploma uh, qualification and who may be compelled to repeat. There remain an entire universe ahead of you and outside of metric. We have developed an education system that embraces every human capacity from those who want to become an eng engineers, pilot, and those who want to become social workers, uh, preachers, plumbers, and electricians. We believe that the success or failure is not defined by one performance at metric. Success depends on the choice choices one makes in life and one's commitment to the art of self-discipline and hard work. Our system has universities, universities of technology, but we want to encourage more and more people to take up vocational training and skills education. Let me pause on this and underline what I'm saying. Number of researches about the fault line that exists between the economy and the education system attest to one fact. What is produced by the education system is not easily absorbed by industries. And therefore, you get lots of, prof of professionals with qualifications but becoming unemployed. And therefore, we will want to uh, emphasize vocational education. Vocational education does not constitute a lower level of education, but its practical nature is that a developing country like ours requires a lot of technicians who will be able to use art and do work directly. We cannot grow our economy and create jobs unless we encourage innovation with more people who can use their hands to build, repair, and maintain systems. And therefore, we want to encourage that. We're pleased to report that we will continue to diversify the educational output of our system. By 2022, four new schools in KwaZulu-Natal will implement the teaching of technical occupational subject, which we piloted from 2020. These are Dramoros in Umlazi, Westridge in Umlazi district, Tukela pre-vocational in Amachuba, Newtown in Umkungunruf. We can also assure you, compatriots, that by 2021, a further six schools in the province will pilot the technical occupational subject as part of introducing of introduction of the third stream. These schools are Justice Mumalo in Umkanyagude, Falaza Technical High School in Zululand, Sihayo Technical School in Umzinyati. Enkomokazini Technical School in Utugela, Ingwe Mabala Comprehensive High School in Uku, Singisi Technical School in Herikwala District. In 2021, two technical high schools will be added to the 70 technical schools that offer two or more technical subjects to bring the total to 72. In the same year, the province will open the Dablamanzi Agricultural Focus School as an addition to the four existing agricultural schools uh, in KwaZulu Natal. As you are aware, we launched the Anton Lembete Mathematics, Science, and Technology Academy here in La Messi, where we are today. As we said earlier, our educational offering must continue to equip every child 
with a variety of skills that provide opportunities for all. And for this reason, we're pleased that 60 foundational phase schools supported by the province are piloting coding and robotics in grade R to grade three. And I think that needs to be commended. Furthermore, in 2021, two schools will pilot coding and drones as part of the curriculum at grade eight and grade nine. There are 149 schools to be added to 60 schools which have been selected to pilot coding and robotics in 2021, supported by the Department of Basic Education. I'm sure the secretary of the ANC, Mr. Ntumsentuli, will find comfort to report that in KwaZulu Natal, we have not only achieved universal access to education, but we are now achieving the quality education that will make people to stand on their own post metric. <clears throat> Our education system also teach entrepreneurship and have piloted the program in King Kejuayo in 2020 and 2022. We will be upscaling this. These days, I'm starting one comparative study done by one professor in Malaysia, comparing affirmative action and economic transformation between South Africa and Malaysia. And I'm very inspired to learn that the conditions to improve the performance of education, of economy, are highly dependent on introducing entrepreneurship in school. And I think we must commend this approach. Already in 2020, in 2020 and 2021, the department recruited 1,733 unemployed youth and provided them with a stipend and bursaries to undergo a, quali a qualification training from three TVET colleges. That is Umkungundlovu, um Folozi, um Nambiti, Tivet Colleges. I'm hoping that Honorable Sotobe, when you take your portfolio committee to assess the work, you will equally visit these Tivet schools and see for yourself what the learners are exposed to, because this is very crucial as an intervention on reskilling, reskilling our youth to get technical skills. With these words, we once again congratulate and applaud the hard work of all involved in the education sector. We also want to thank the parents, the communities for the role they've played and continue to support delivery of successful education system. We have always known that it takes a village to teach a child. In 2020, we have learned the true and practical meaning of that statement. We urge once more all parents, SGPs, and all involved to take a keen interest in the education of our learners. Once again, we salute all the hardworking, diligent, and dedicated teachers and principals at all our schools who have contributed to the excellent results of 77.6%. As my parting message to all learners who didn't achieve the results they expected, please remember what former President Nelson Mandela once said, where he stated, and I quote, the greatest glory in living is not in failing, but in rising every time we fall, close quote.
together. Let's grow KwaZulu Natal. I thank you.
Aye. I'm following the number of students. i Thank you very much. If you look at the battle issue, the report is still keep high. The number results may fund the zone to solve grade R up to grade 12. That uh, document contains results starting from grade R up to grade 12. The performance of the Yagawonke or Jule, who is a real manager, is a multi city as focused on grade 12 for Pella, but as started on the system. So that document represents the whole system on how the department has been performing. One was a student at C corner. Unless we're strong about grade R, so we're strong about foundation phase, we're going to intermediate phase, senior phase up to up to phase of grade 12. Uh, thank you very much for that. Without any waste of time, I'm at districts, I'm at documents, I call us to hear it by tomorrow morning as we feel at my districts. Without any waste of time, cinema results, so I keep a cool of shesh. And then computers of yours keep a number of results, I feel like being a little bit of a pants, so we'll have to press one result. So two of my speeches, I'm the chief director of curriculum, as was two of my results. I'm a adult learner area. We'll allow us to aye, it's to happen to all. What's our name, Ms. Lamin? Thank you. Program Director, on pro protocol observe, I will present the category Top Adult Learner Per Learning Area, which is the body of knowledge or subjects that they were doing. The learners I will present have achieved at MQF Level 1, and the learners I will present all of them are at their various districts where they will receive their awards. From Amatuba district, from the center, the center name is Angelene Abed Center. The subject is Early Childhood Development, is Pelebana Amanda. From Herikwala district, the school or center is a Riverside Park, and the subject is Isitrosa, is Nzanibe, Michelipeni, Richard. The district is Ilembe district. The center is Embe, in the Wende Adam Center from Emandeni. The subject is Economics and Management Sciences. The learner is Mtonga Elizabeth. From King Votoyo, the center is Ensingoni Adult Center. The subject is Isuzunu. The learner is Mazibubo Lekutula Zinche. Coming from Pine Town District, and the center is the Segu Public Center. The subject is human and social sciences. And the learner or the adult learner is Ntinga Zinja Bongeka. Coming from the Oku district, the center is La Jota, and the subject is applied agriculture and the agricultural technology, and it is Mubati Lingi Mandisa. Coming from Mpungunjo district, the center is Pumelela Park, and the subject is Metabetical Literacy, and the learner is Jacobs Malcolm Jonathan. Coming from Enkanya Mute District, the center is Josini Abed Center, and the subject is inform Information and Communication, and the learner is Mjali Tabile Cynthia. Coming from Omlazi District, the subject is English, 
and the center is Uluazi Abed Center, and the learner is Kirsten Bianca. Coming from Umzinati District, and the subject is Natural Sciences, and the, the center is Tutugane Public Adult, the learner is Kulis Monelo. Coming from Utugala District, and the center is Inabaya Mango, and the subject is Home Sale and Retail, and the learner is Ms. Lena Mkanga Eka. Finally, coming from Zuriland District, Wanjinwayo Apex Center, the subject is Life Orientation, and the learner is Nguanyana Mkumego Andile. I thank you, Program Director. Thank you very much. Let's go to the Gumak District. I'm at the Sweet House Book and you will see this. So the first egg is in the top five from each district. Before the top five, we've got to have a book as of this is the top five for correctional services. In Ghana, it's the first one that is in the top five. And I will last three years ago. So this is the top five. It's got the correctional services is connected to David Westville, Mr. Masbuk. If you could please be quick, who are the leader? Program Director, thank you very much. The top five learners from Correctional Services are as follows. I need to indicate, Program Director, that all these five learners are coming from Pine Town District, and all of them are coming from Use Tuben Youth Center, position five, is Ndlovu Ayanda Lucas. Position four is Vilagaz Siabonga Sabelo. Position three is Ndlangi Sasiviwe Mualimo. Position two is Mbatantaganipo Comfort. And position one goes to Kamane Gwazi Slindile. Thank you very much, Program Director. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Top five. That was top five, Yama Districts. Yes, the correctional services. I'm taking now 12 districts. We are identifying five top learners from each district. So to make a top 10 year province. Let me take a district of Kala. Is a person of Mr. A. Kumede. Mr. A. Kumede. Who is present in top five from our district, Oko district. Over to you, Mr. Osa Bingele, Suya Ashwaj. Ndabe. Thank you, Program Director. I will present the top five learners in the first four districts. The first one being Ogo, followed by Harry Guala, then King Pechuayo, and the last one will be Umkhanyagut. Under Ogo district, we have Utom Marco Gavastaf from Poshapstein High. Position four, we have Unai Dupiolin from Umzito Secondary. Position three is Yego Pao, Jesharam Levin from Koshapstein High. Position two is Mshonga Luazi from Nobamba High. And position one, we have Kuzwayo Luyanda from Kukulisizwe Secondary. That was Oku District. The next district is Perikwala. And position five, we have Umayeza Sinalo from DRC Senior Secondary. 
Position four is Mofokeng Silondile from Ladam Senior Secondary. And position three is Hatebe Sandiswa Amogelwe from Maria Thal Combined. Position two from Little Flower Secondary is Kia Songeziwe. And position one is Seikane Tembelishe Innocentia Apilile from Little Flower Secondary. That was Heripwala. And the next district is King Techwayo. Position five from Embangeni High School, we have Sabata Erfan. Position four from Bizimali High School is Numalo Lucinda Pinky. Position three from Gono Secondary is Zaza Awanda. Then in position two from Tolobushe Secondary, we have Langa Sabelo. And position one from Tolobushe Secondary, it's Masinga Ayanda. And the last top five learners I will call are from Umkanga Position five, we have Umsweli Dunsile Standra from Isi Vungu Vungu Junior Secondary. Then from Godile Secondary, Sinonyembe Togozani Tobile Zevile. In position three, from Sitem Bichata Secondary, we have Dombela Slindile Shonipile. Then in position two, we have Ukumete Sishesabelo from Shudu Junior Secondary. Then position one, from Ezintabeni Secondary, we have Umkwamobi Sindonile. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Rambaran, CFO, you are presenting four districts, uh, Ilembe, top five, um, Umlazi, top five, um, Amachuba, top five, and Mkugundovu, top five. Mr. Rambaran, you are not greeting Asbali Malwazaka Rambaran. Thank you, uh, Program Director. Uh, uh, leadership, I'm going to present to you the top five in Pound Town District. Uh, number five is Kieran Naidu from Westbrook Boys High. Number four is Himla Naranjana from Westbrook Leadership. I'm going to present to you the top Number five. three is Salam Maharaj from Greenberry Secondary. Number two is Shaheen Kavinda from Westford Boys. And number one is uh, Kulimba Cynthia from Westford Boys High. That is the Pine Town District. For Ilemba District, number five is Kumeda Wiseman from Tugela Secondary. Uh, number four is Nivana Rampasad from Stenda Mena Secondary. Number three is Talia Shores Augustine from Stangamona Secondary. And number two is Stimbella uh, from Zutopan. And number one is Preshavon Governor from Stangamona Secondary. That is the younger district. Uh, I'm going to move Gungunglovo district. Uh, number five is on this one. Uh, number four is, is Sheldon. Number three is Deepika. Number two is Ahmed Ashraf from Restop. And number one is Raishta Haidas from Peter Marisburg Girls High. Thank you, uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen. In terms of the last district, Pine Town, you have Kieran Naidu from uh, Westwood Boys High. Number four, we have Imal Naranjan from Westwood Boys High. And uh, number three, we also have Sanam Maraj from Greenberry Secondary. And uh, 
Number two, Shaheen got murdered from West Bengal Thai. And lastly, number one, Columbia Cynthia from West Bengal Thai. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Ramalan. We are checking uh, the last four districts. Amakuma, uh, Zululand, and Uziyati. Uh, and together, Advocate TTG uh, Masu is going to present those last four districts. Over to you, TTG. Thank you, Program Director. Uh, Honorable Premier, I'm presenting the top five from Amachuba. On the fifth position from Pendulani High School is Mashatse Sbongile IV Masondo. From Ferram High School is Kwake Nar Kali. Fourth position, third position from Lincoln Heights High School is Carvenda Tavachni. From Zama Secondary School, second position is Shongwe Kwanele Tunisile. And on the top position, number one from Pendugane again is Mposula Makona. The next district is Zululand district. On the fifth position from Matunja Secondary School is Msimango Zakele Sifiso. On the fourth position from Logoto High School is Kumalo Tunegile Tina. On the third position from Masibumbane High School is Mpungose Siatemba Hope. On the second position, again from Masibumbane, is Nanana Minesh Ekebile. On the first position from Sikamise Secondary, is Matebula Nonsigalelo. That was Zululand. Then the last, the third district, Umziyati district. On the fifth position from Dandi High School is Tom Stephen Edna. On the fourth position, Esikumbuzweni Secondary is Ngobese Tobelife. Third position, Ebusi combined is Mia Sanelisiwe Simobile. Fourth, a second position, Sarah Silias is Khan Miriam BB. Then the top learner is from Greytown Secondary, Sganaye Ashna. On the last district, Utugala district, on the fifth position from M. Shwaneni High School is Shabalala Kolile Kembega. Fourth position again from M. Shwaneni is Zulu Amanda Mangoba Senza Nakona. On the third position from Stateville Secondary is Shingange Kositandile Lesebi. From Ladysmith High School, on the second position is partner B, Ashwari Ashwin. Then on the top, the first position from Ladysmith High again is Ratman Tashvik. So those were the top four learners from the four districts. Thank you.
Thank you very much, uh, Advocate Masu, our DDG, uh, Honorable Premier, Honorable MSCs. May I present top six learners from special schools? Top six learners from special schools in KwaZulu Natal. Mr. Masibogo, if you could please assist me with the presentation of top six learners from special schools. I'm sure you know the rule, we don't greet, we just... <laughs> Program Director, thank you very much. Honorable Premier, I'm presenting the top six learners from special schools. The position number five goes to Pine Town District. The center is Watintwa School for the Deaf. The candidate is Ngubane Sinoyolo Sisigelelo. The position number four goes to Pine Town District again. The school is AM Mula Space Nova. The candidate is Lamini Siseko. The third position, the fourth position, which is a tie, goes to Pine Town District again. The same school, AM Mula Space Nova. The candidate is Msane Nombuledo. Position number three goes to Umlazi District. The school is open air. The candidate is Mapumulo Nomfundo. Second position goes to Pine Town District. The school is Fulton, Fulton School for the Deaf. The candidate is Hans Roth. Khadija. Then position one goes to Umlazi district. The school is open air. The candidate is Makanya Sibanesezwe Bright. Thank you very much, program director. Uh, oh, Ms. Lamin, we are boy stage. Tonishu Premier. She, Ms. Damien, is going to present the top girl learner in mathematics and physical science, a top boy learner in mathematics and physical science, a top girl learner in accounting, and so on. Uh, Ms. Damien, if you could please take. Thank you, Program Director. The learners I'm going to present are the learners who achieved against uh, adversity. That means that that particular learner was exposed to conditions that um, were not uh, normally uh, conditions uh, uh, that a, a child of that particular age was supposed to be exposed to. And we say these learners achieved against adversity. The first category of learners a top, is a top girl learner in mathematics and physical sciences against adversity. This uh, combines both mathematics and physical sciences. The girl Lena is coming from Amajuba. The name of the school is Pendugani High School. The surname is Mbosula. The name is Zakona. It's a girl Lena in, who achieved against adversity in mathematics and physical sciences. Another top Lena in the category, a boy Lena now, from uh, in physical sciences and mathematics against adversity is coming from King Ejoyo district. The name of the school is Ngono Secondary. The learner is Jada Awanda. I am moving further um, uh, uh, program director to a top learner in accounting against adversity, I would like to thank the, the government is coming from Zululand district. 
The name of the school is Sikamise Secondary. The learner is Matebula Nonsigelelo. Moving further, program director, now in only a subject called physical sciences. Initially, it was physical sciences and mathematics, but now taking a subject called physical sciences, the top learner against adversity who, who performed and achieved against adversity in the subject physical sciences, grade 12, 2020. The district is Umkanyagute district. The school is Mshutu Junior Secondary. The learner is Kumete Sile. Again, a top learner in physical sciences still coming, coming from Amachuba. The school is Pendugani High School. The learner now in physical sciences alone is Mposula Zakona. Again, coming to the subject mathematics alone, not coupled with physical sciences, but still a, a learner who achieved against adversity. The name of the learner coming from King Kajwayo, the name of the school remains Ngono Secondary School, and the learner is Jada Awanda. Thank you, Program Director. And I'm told these learners are here. Thank you very much, uh, Ms. Lamini. May I announce that all learners in adversity have been awarded bursaries by SAICA, all of them. Thank you very much. We want to appreciate the support of SAICA, Gengaris Mang. Thank you. Uh, we are now taking the big category, the top 10 in the province. Who are those? I am going to call upon Dr. Mtembo, our DTG curriculum, to come forward and present the top 10 to our Premier, Honorable Premier, MEC, and Honorable Members present. We would like those learners, once all names are, are called, uh, you should come and stand just in front of our Honorable Members so that you are able to take a photo and be handshaken by the by the premier on Honorable MSC Abazos and Abazon Kaul, Zoro Manje Lak Pela. Just for now, let me allow Dr. Tim to please take the floor. Uh, thank you. Uh, may I announce the top 10 learners in public schools? Uh, we don't have uh, number nine and 10 because we're off ties. Uh, two learners who got position eight uh, are from Pine Town District, and the names is Baldio, Kiash, Madison. And uh, the other one who got position eight is from Zinyati, Great Town Secondary. That is uh, Kanaye Akshar. Uh, those are the two number eights that we have. We also have uh, a learner who got number seven. That is Naidu Karim from Westville Boys High. Number six, we have two. That is, the first one is uh, Nae Shireya from Denville Park Girls. And the other one is Ramesu Baman from uh, Umkomazi Secondary. Then uh, in terms of number five, we have two again. One is uh, Naku Miranian from Westville Boys High. And the other one, is uh, Sanam Maharaj from Green, Greenberry Secondary. Then number four, 
is Samaru Tipika from Effingham Secondary. Number three is uh, Varda Julu Chagan Naha from Southland Secondary. Uh, number two is Sharin Kabenda from Westville Boys and uh, the top learner uh, in Wazulu Natal Public Schools is uh, Cynthia Obono Eyono from Westville Girls High School. Thank you. <laughs> they are requested to come and stand in front here for further protocols. Not there, down there. May I request to finish our premium on the Lanko, MC Nizova Kaul and Javantan. Let me meet the Sunday. Number one. Number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Can number one stand at, at, right at the end? Is number one? Are you number one? Okay. Fine here. Can we move a little bit down? Yes, we can move a little bit down. Yes, we are fine there. Let's observe the social distance. Well done, guys. Well done. Good work. You did well. Yeah, Dr. Mtembo, where is Dr. Mtembo? Honorable Premier, we still have the last category, top 10, top nine learners that represented province at national yesterday. That's the last category. And some of those learners are here already. Let me allow Dr. Mtembo to call them before our Honorable Premier, Honorable MC, leave the stage. If you could please leave the stage. But those that are in top nine, that was. Thank you. These are the learners who presented, who were acknowledged at national level. Uh, the first one comes from Heri Kuala District, Chembelife Innocentia, Tengane. Uh, is second place in Queen Time 2. Uh, that was a national award. The other one comes from Pine Town Helofte High School, Kruka Johannes Stephanus. Stefan, second place in physical science in the country. Uh, the next one is from Pine Town District, Fulton High School, Kadi I mean, Hans Roth, Kadila, 
take place in South African Sign Language. The next one from Westville Boys High School, uh, it's uh, Cynthia Ayono Obono, second place in Quintile 5. Then the next one comes from Wachintwa School, uh, Sinoyo Losisegelo, second place in, second, in South African Sign Language. The next one is from Umla's Effingham Secondary, uh, Tipika Samaru, first place in Quintile 4. The next one is from Zululand, Sibusiso, Sibusiso High School, Mtetwa Mtebo, second place in Technical Sciences. The, the next one is uh, from Kukulesizwe Secondary in Uku, Kuzwa third place in Quintile 3. And the last one is Nomatia's Technical School, Zuma Pumlani Gwanele, first, first place in the country in Technical Science. Thank you. Um, uh, those are top nine learners that represented the province at national yesterday. These are our top achievers. Thank you very much for the work well done, colleagues. And uh, guys, thank you. Uh -uh. All right. All right. There must be there must be a gap. She must be here in front of me. Stand here. Stand here. The knee stand here. You stand there. So that you don't get up as you are. Mr. Pennestin, also the right to the one. Mr. Pennistin. <laughs> I was straight. <laughs> These are top line learners that represented province at national yesterday. Congratulations to all of you. Well done. A round of applause. Thank you very much. You don't have to talk to them and to respond. Where is the top learner? Uh, please give us just a short message. We want you to respond. Top learner. Oh, that's in the center. Okay. 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 Um, good morning. Uh, my name is Kalam Omona Eono, and I am the first learner uh, in KZN. I would like to thank first and foremost Scott and then my parents and my siblings, my school, my teachers, and my peers for their constant support. I'd also like to thank the department um, for being a figure of authority and assistance, not only for me, but for learners throughout, not only our province, but in the country. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, sis. Thank you. Sabah Akul, thank you very much. Okay. Okay. What about me, Led? Okay. What do you need? Okay. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Yimela. Stand here. Okay. 
Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, in celebrating the great achievement for the class of 2020, uh, we must thank the following uh, people. Program Director, Dr. Nzama, HOD of Education in KZN. The Premier, Mr. S. Zigalala. The MEC for Education, Mshengu, who is the hosting MEC. Chairperson of the Provincial House of Traditional Leaders, Mkosi Utkuliza. Speaker of the Legislature, Ms. N. Boysen. Leader of Government and Business, Ms. N. Dube and all MECs present. Leader of the Official Opposition in the Legislature, Mr. Shabesa. Chairperson of the Education Portfolio, Mr. M. M. Sibia. Spouse of the Premier, Spouse of the MEC of the Education, Mtwana. Wasen Bumpolo, Provincial Secretary of the Ruling Party, Mr. Timsen Intoli, leaders of labor unions, leaders of SGPs and associations, DOE senior management, uh, members of all the media, members of the South African Police Services, the sponsors who made this event a success, Mr. Muzin Kambela from Process Lito, Mr. Tanda Nyanda from Davasa, Standard Bank, Stryker, and all other sponsors that contributed to the event. And last but not least, we want to thank all the principals, the teachers, the learners, the supporting staff, and that they may continue to do the good work that they've done. Thank you to everybody. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Dr. Pellistin, Honorable Premier, Honorable MCs. Uh, we have now come to the end of the function. Thank you very much for your presence. We have arranged lunch for everyone from here. It's in the main hall. The main hall is this side. But uh, I've been requested to request Honorable Premier and Honorable MC Mshemu to please move into the same room where we were this morning. So as I made a statement, it won't take long. Uh, our Thank you very much. We have come to the end of the function. May I all stand and allow the front table to please move first, Mrs. Salandela. And the terrible show to Gonje, Ilan, she called her like for everyone. Thank you very much. See about my presence. You are welcome in the corner. And thanks to our learners and thanks for the work we've done. Thanks to the supporters and to all that have done that have contributed to this function. Thank you. Thank you.